what product in the 80s was the beginning of American laziness? <laughs> Last week at my estate sales, I found the clapper. It's original, it's still in its box, and we thought it would be fun to open it and try it out. All right, who out there actually had one of these? Come on, you can fess up. I did. <laughs> did you? No, I did not. <laughs> but you told me when we got married, actually, I still had mine, which I did not remember that. She didn't remember when we were very early in our marriage. <laughs> We actually tried the clapper out for a while, but uh, I found it was more trouble than it was worth. Yeah, you got to get the claps just right to make it work. Um, so this guy was invented in 1984, and it's made by Joseph Enterprises. Now, these are the same people that brought us Ch -ch -chia. the Chia Pet, and we've done a separate video about that where we grew a Richard Simmons Chia Pet. If you haven't watched that, we will link that video for you. Um, but they also created the Clapper and a few other products, but those are their two like most popular ones. But I gotta say, I think what really sold those products were the commercials. Yeah, the commercials <laughs> were fantastic. So let's watch one of the old commercials for the Clapper. And you'll notice in the commercial, you'll see the Chia Pet. Oh, yeah, that's right. See if you can spot. It's like, where's Waldo? See if you can spot the Chia Pet in the commercial. Okay, roll it. Honey, turn off the light. Has this ever happened to you? Presenting the Clapper. Let your appliances turn on and off just by clapping. Clap on the music. It's easy. Just plug the Clapper into any household outlet. Then plug in your lamp, TV, or stereo. Clap on for places hard to reach, the Clapper makes it easy. Plus, the Clapper comes with an extra feature to make your home more secure. Turn to the away function and your lights turn on at the first sound it hears. Minutes later, they turn off. And the Clapper resets to help protect your home. Leave your appliances plugged into the Clapper and your lights will go on, turning away unwanted guests. Clap on, clap off, clap on, clap off. That was some on-point marketing. Yeah, and I was totally hooked by that commercial when these things first came out. In fact, I asked for it for Christmas and received the clapper. Now, this is not the one that I got. I don't know what happened to that one. This is the one from 1990s. It has a new improved feature, which we're gonna show you in a minute. But yeah, I totally got it for Christmas. And I used it. I think I plugged like my lamp in my bedroom because I like the idea of being in bed and just <laughs> clapping off your light. <laughs> now when they invent one that brings me a snack, I'm on board. Oh, clap for snacks? Yes. I don't know how that would work, but that sounds like a good idea. Why don't you work on that invention? Yes. Okay, so I love the box. It says you can use it for a lamp, a television, or your Christmas tree. Hey Keith, I think this year we should put our Christmas tree on the clapper. Why not? <laughs> let's try it. Okay, so let's open this thing. One other thing they forgot to say, it's also for security. Oh, okay. So the 80s one didn't have this feature. This is the new feature I was talking about. It has a um, home and away feature. And you turn the dial that you're gonna be away and then so when someone's breaking into your house, the light will come on. <laughs> well, yeah, like it said, it responds to the first sound it hears. So theoretically, yes. When someone, hopefully no one's breaking into your house, but if they are and that light comes on, I'm sure it'll really scare them yeah, away. Yeah, it's gonna freak them out and <laughs> they'll never come back. Okay, so let's see. So I was really excited. I told you guys I got this in a state sale. I forgot to mention how much it cost, $2. I don't know how much they are for retail, but this one was two dollars and it's from 1990s and it's still in its original packaging. Oh, we can register it. Nice. And you said they still sell these? I think they do because when I when I googled it, it came up at Target. So maybe they do. I don't know. We'll have to look it up. So if you want one, go out to your local Target. <laughs> maybe. Hey, these make a nice Christmas present, right? They were marketed as a Christmas gift. 
Now I noticed this is a lot smaller than the one that we had in the 80s. It's a, it's a smaller version, more slim. Okay. Okay, what do we got? Got three lights on the front, two plugs on the bottom. Mm -hmm. We got the home and away knob on the side. Okay. And that's about it. <laughs> it's pretty basic. Yeah. So anybody can use this. This is not a high tech. This is like 80s tech. This is low tech. Yeah, but at the time it was like really revolutionary. Yes. You know, wow, you could turn on your, your appliances with the clap. Okay. Now this does say do not use the clapper with any appliance with a heating element such as a toaster. I mean that makes sense. A dryer, sense. coffee pot, or any appliance that can create a fire hazard with prolonged use. Okay, right. good tips. And the thing I remember about it too is sometimes it would malfunction because it would pick up other sounds in the room. Like if I was jamming with my jam box to some 80s beats and like the music had a particularly uh you know loud percussion it would with that drum beat it would it would affect the clapper <laughs> so so there's that now i also thought the original one it was two claps right clap on right okay. this one says three well, three claps it might be it shows like two and three. I wonder if it's two claps for the first one oh. and three claps for the second one. So it depends on which plug you want to turn on and off. Oh, I get it. Oh, you're right. Okay, so on one side of the directions, this is the quick tips. It says, uh, the, this is the quick tips for operating an appliance with two claps. Yeah. And then on the back it says three. So, oh. so I know that may be a new feature as well. Just, well, it had to be the same in the other one because there were two plugs on the original as well. Okay. So if you want, you have to remember which one you're turning on and you get either two claps or three claps. It's just so complicated. I mean, just it's really, get your butt off the couch and go turn on and off that, that device. It's really not that complicated. And remember, us kids from the 80s, we didn't even have remote controls for our TVs. Um, the, you know, a later we did, but early on you had to get up off your butt and push the button. So anything that was going to be automatic like that i think we thought it was pretty cool yeah the worst you remember being a kid and you didn't have a remote so mm -hmm. the kid was the one that had to go change the channel yeah. yeah your dad would make you change it okay um so this is cracking me up the quick tip instructions it says you don't have to clap very hard the clapping sequence is more important than how loudly you clap you need to do clap pause clap pause where each pause is approximately one half to one second long. The three pauses after the second clap are very important. So it's clap, pause, clap, pause, pause, pause. So let's do it together. Ready? Let's practice. <laughs> no, pause, pause, pause. Oh. Oh. All right. Um, the clap detection lights will only glow when a proper clap is detected. These lights help you determine the proper speed and loudness of your claps that are necessary to activate your appliance. I must explain the three lights on here. Maybe for each clap, it'll yeah. light up. So if you only want two, it'll light up twice. Or if you want three, then you get three lights with the pause. Well, let's give it a try yeah. and see... <laughs> See, who would have thought the clapper was so complicated? I don't think it's that complicated. Let's give it a try and see. Maybe we will fall back in love with this product from our childhood. Now Keith and Jesse are going to demonstrate how easy it is to use the clapper. Step one, set the sensitivity dial to home. Plug the appliance into the left receptacle of the clapper. It's the one below the number two, okay? And we're gonna use a second item for the third one. Okay. All right. Plug her in. And this is pretty complicated. I know, right? There we go. Okay, it's plugged in. So we have set, which one did you, which one is which? This is two, this is three. 
Okay, so we have two lamps. We have just this lamp, the big lamp is two claps, and this little flower lamp is three. Okay. So these little lights are on on here, so that must mean that it recognizes that... That it's plugged plug in? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's picking up your voice. It's picking up my voice. Oh, it turned off. Oh, no. Okay, I think we have to work on the... Oh, okay. I think we have to work on the sensitivity a little bit. Let's give it a try. Okay. I think you paused too long. Try again. Uh-oh. Out here. <laughs> He's like, that thing is weird. It doesn't work. I'm gonna try it the way I want to do it. Okay, here we go. No. Yeah! Why, why was there a delay? Because it, because it has to figure out if you're doing two or three. Okay, why did it just right, go off? Let's do three. Mm. Uh, there's not a setting for five. <laughs> oh no, it, it came on. The, okay, so the number three one worked, kind of, but you did it five times. Let's yeah, turn it off. <laughs> okay, wait, that was supposed to be two claps. Oh, why does it work when I talk? Why is it? Why is it? Your voice obviously is the same octave. <laughs> okay. Right, quiet on the set. So we realized we were sitting way too close to the clapper. When we moved away, it worked a little bit better. Yeah, apparently my voice was setting it off and we also discovered that there is a sensitivity dial on the side. So they said in the directions, if you have really loud claps, you might wanna turn that down a little bit or if there's a lot of like background noise, like ambient noise in the room, maybe adjust it down a little bit. And so, um, it seems to be working fine now. I have to say my wrist and hands are really sore though. It hurts. <laughs> so I want to opt Too much for, exercise? I want to opt for the old fashioned method which is getting up and actually turning it off instead of going. <laughs> <laughs>